Fabio Wardley versus Nathan Gorman. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between Wardley and Gorman is scheduled for 12 rounds in the heavyweight division to take place over in the UK for the vacant British heavyweight title fight will be taking place on the 26th of November, November 26, 2022, live over at the Ovo Arena in Wembley in London in the UK uh, in the undercard of the Dillian White versus Jermaine Franklin fight to be shown live around the world on The Zone. So tune into The Zone this Saturday on the 26th if you want to see it. To those who don't know who Fabio Wardley is, he's a 27-year-old fighter from the UK, 14-0, and 13 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He's coming for a win against Chris Haley back in July of this year. He's going in there against, I would say, the toughest fight of his career so far against Nathan Gorman or Gorman. I always pronounce it Gorman, but I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Gorman, right? Uh, Nathan Gorman, 26-year-old uh, fighter from the UK as well, 19-1. and 1. 13 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Coming up a win against Thomas Salek back in June of this year. One and only loss came from Daniel Dynamite Dubois Triple D back in 2019, where he lost by knockout in round number five. Since then, he's won three fights in a row. Hasn't really been that active, only fought once in 2020, once in 2021, and so far once this year. This would be his second fight this year. Um, yeah, it's, it's the toughest fight of Fabio Wardley's career on paper. And a fight that he might actually lose. Uh, it's not going to be easy, um, in my opinion. I think it's going to be a competitive fight. But in the end, I'm still leaning towards Wardley in a, a in a very competitive fight. Um, now I see Gorman give, definitely giving him some problems. But in the end, I think Wardley's speed and accuracy will beat Gorman to the punch. And I see him hurting Gorman somewhere in the, the second half and, um, you know, stopping Gorman by TKO, let's say like round nine, uh, around that, eight, nine, ten, around those rounds. Um, I think War I think Gorman will definitely give him some problems and land some good shots on Wardley. And, you know, I think the fight will be close throughout. Um, heck, it won't surprise me if Gorman is winning the fight leading up to the the second half of this fight but i think in the end i think ward especially wardley's speed i think he he will eventually land something clean um and continue to land something clean and hurt gorman and stop him in the second half but i could be wrong it's the heavyweight division one punch can change the entire fight heck it might end in the second the first half um i just think that Gorm gorman's chin can take wardley's power to the second half um not just his chin but he's also his heart and termination uh but then again like i said i think gorman has what it takes to make this side very competitive uh but we'll see anything is possible in the sport of boxing especially in the heavyweight division one punch can change the entire fight if i had to pick a winner definitely fabio wardley in round number eight nine ten by tko let me know your thoughts thanks for listening and watching and like always have a great day all right thanks